everybody. Welcome back to the show. We're going to tell you about a great film festival called Projecting Change. Yeah, absolutely. It will be an inspirational event. We are joined by Severin Kula Suzuki, activist, broadcaster, mom, joining us you? as well. How are you? Hi, you guys. It's nice to be back. Nice and congratulations. You. you became a mama. How old is Thank your son you. now? Um, he'll be two in July. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, with what you do in your life, uh, how much perspective does it give you uh, when you have that next generation and, and sort oh of my God. have that? It's pretty crazy. It's huh? amazing. I mean, I really feel like it's a huge leap of you know growing up, and I realize what my parents have done for me. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> uh, having children, someone described it to me once as, as a leap of faith as well, in, in, in terms of that you believe when you have children that things will get better and progress and, and be safe for them when you have kids, too. You really have to believe that. Yeah, you have to, and you have a responsibility responsibility to fight for their world and their future and I think that I think that all parents have that desire that their child grows up in a healthy environment in a with lots of opportunities but how we do that you know we have to I, I, that's what I'm interested in talking about and I always have but now I realize the, the sacred the duty yeah. of, do, of being a parent. Now, how old were you when you did the speech at the Earth Summit? At the Earth Summit, I was 12 years old. 12 years old, <laughs> and you gave a speech that has basically been reborn on the internet uh, at the Earth Summit. I mean, that long ago, people didn't have as much knowledge as they do now about the environment, about climate change, about everything. At 12 years old, <laughs> what made you say what you said? Well, at tw by 12 years old, you know, you are a fully formed character and very cognizant of a lot of things. And that's why I'm so excited to present um, Climate of Change, the movie at the um, Projecting Change Film Festival this weekend, um, because there's lots of children about that age in this yeah. documentary, and it's just great. I mean, they are absolutely brilliant, super articulate, totally understand the issues. And kids that age, they are not afraid of saying what they think is right. Yeah. And that is a very strong power that young people have. And that's the only reason I was able to give, give the speech that I did, telling the world leaders what I thought yeah, they should I do. I just believe I this. mean, <laughs> I could never do that today. Because right. now as an adult, you know how complex the world is, and yeah. politics are politics. You and your to opinions compromise. have been influenced and changed. Totally. And I mean, we, we don't have the same capacity to speak truth to power in the same honest way. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, that's why I think... I well, think youth are essential to And this it's fascinating to look back on because uh, while things have changed, obviously things haven't changed a ton. And that's sort of, uh, it's, a, I, I don't know, for me, it's a little bit discouraging. I don't know how you feel about it. Yeah, but. I mean, people always ask me this question, you know, 20 years, 20 years have passed since the Earth Summit. I mean, I'm still essentially doing the same thing. I've spoken to you guys over the years about, you know, different variations, campaigns, but, you know, basically the same thing. 20 years ago, we had a much higher political dialogue in the environment. Yeah. I mean, sustainability was in. We had people, politicians who were trying to be, um, you know, the, net, the greenest prime minister. I yeah. mean, that was what we were talking about politically. And today, nothing. I mean, yeah. during the election, it was, not, it was not debated. It was not talked about. And that is a very interesting question, even while I think publicly... Canadians especially are you know, very aware and our level of concern is very high. Yeah. Do you think there's been a level of frustration with people, just you know, the average Joe, just being told, oh, you can't do this, you're doing this wrong, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do this, and it's, it's kind of reached a point where people feel like they can't do things? I think there's a lot of there's a lot of different messaging going on. I mean, personally, I find the you can't do this, that's wrong. I mean, I find that a very depressing <laughs> way of Narrative, living. Yeah. I mean, I just, you know, it's, it's very, it, it'll definitely drag you down. And in our society, you can't live properly. I mean, you can't live right. You're you always flip feeling it to guilty. The positive well, I of think that message. equally important is trying to figure out what is the vision, living the positive that we have to do and living in a way that's you know, fun and funny yeah. and um, artistic and really about quality of life. And I mean, that's what I think it's about. I think yeah. it's about quality of life, especially for our children, because we are compromising their yeah. quality of life by how we live today. But we have to start, you know, we have to start living the vision. And to me, that is very positive. It's about being healthier. It's about le living with more connections to, you know, people who produce your food, your clothes, all that kind of thing, having more time for yourself. Um, it's really a positive thing, and it's more sustainable. Well, and it ties in so nicely to the film that you're presenting as well, Climate of Change, because it really focuses on on people, you know, individuals and sort of the choices that they're making and how it's enriching their lives, not 
uh, not because they're doing these grandiose, massive things, but because they've just made simple choices to sort of change what they're doing. I mean, that's why it's so tricky to grasp because you hear about the global problems and you hear about you know the climate change that's happening, and I mean, I immediately relate that to what's happening in flooding in yeah. Manitoba and the fires like Sla yeah, Great, Slave Lake. I mean, States. we have to make those connections. The tornadoes, yeah, exactly, and. Um, and that seems so massive to think, wow, we're contributing to this global climate change. But, you know, all you can do is the actions in your own life. Yeah. And so that's what we all have to do is we have to try and make our own lives, you know, as sustainable as possible, reduce our footprint. And I'm not going to give you a list of how to do that. Yeah, yeah. It's up to everyone, you know, There's find what works for that. Them. Yeah. But we also have to get engaged, get political. And I think the film festival this weekend is a great way of and doing that. And it's a really great way to get other perspectives and learn things that it's it's not a list, you know. It's something that you can actually enjoy. Like the documentary that you're talking about, Tilda Swinton is the narrator. It's a little bit different. Tell us a little bit more about it and some of the other films that people can see. Well, I'm really excited. This is my first year participating in this uh, film festival. It's run for this will be its fourth year, and uh, it's really different because you always have a speaker that's coupled with a screening. So it's kind of like they call it a TED Talk meets film festival, Perfect, and yeah. that's neat because it partners the energy. Well, hopefully, it couples the energy that you sometimes feel after watching a empowering documentary with a dialogue and maybe something you can do. So um, I'm. I'm speaking after climate of change. Uh, I know Paul Watson is speaking after Eco Pirate on Friday night. Yeah. Um, there's all kinds of just interesting characters who will be speaking along to with To continue these. the dialogue. To continue the dialogue. Which is what people want to do when they see a documentary. They I want to talk, talk it out. It. I think so. And that's how yeah. I felt after I watched Climate of Change. I was like, oh my gosh, now what? And I mean, that's that will be something interesting to talk about. It, at this at this festival to think of you know you see a movie you feel inspired now and what? then what yeah. I mean you know what can we do with that and I think we can start a conversation and that's a huge part of what we need to do very Lovely. cool thank Pleasure you so much to to and if you want to check out the projecting change festival it's happening the 26th to the 29th of May you can go to the website to find out all the screenings of the documentaries and times and of course Severin will be speaking at one of the documentaries as well but there's a ton of other speakers that will be there too I just, just one thing people there's a reason that riding a bike is fun because it's good for you. There it's you good go. for everything. That's why you feel joy when you get on a bike. We're going to take a